It's 52 past nine. I'm just watching some Setting the Vagabond. They put up a video um, and it features a little bit of a sneaky glimpse of the new cinematographer, the guy who got the cinematographer role that I applied for a few months ago. We'll get onto that in a second, but just have a quick squeeze at their video. This guy's name's Daniel, or Dan. We're the upscale marina, so we we'll laugh so hard when it's soaking wet. Sailor comes walking in. He's just getting a little bit of little bit of vlog time in there, which is nice. Nice to see this dude and see who how he how he acts and whatnot. But someone did make a comment. Um, this guy here, Apple Blade, made a comment, and I'll read it to you. It's this guy here. The comment is was a fun outing with the camera guy, but he should explain a bit about himself to us viewers. I kind of felt like mum and dad handed us off to a weird babysitter. So what he's getting at there is that the Selling the Vagabond crew haven't really introduced this guy. This is, I think, the third video since he's been on board and we haven't really learnt anything about the dude. Well, the Selling the Vagabond crew made a reply to that and this is where it gets interesting. This reply here, it says, yeah, sorry about this. We actually wanted to publish Daniel's audition video, but he preferred that we kept it private. We'll look at including more about Daniel soon. We wanted to publish his audition video, but he preferred that we kept it private. Now, the reason I'm going over that twice is because you recall my application video where well, first of all, Saving the Vagabond said they watched it and they actually didn't, but that's that's what I replied with my video. They say they watched it, they didn't. I got a lot, a lot of shit for saying that. Turns out I was dead set correct. But then I also got people saying comments like, well, you shouldn't have made your video private. It's a public space. They're a public entity. They're on YouTube, a public platform. Of course, they're going to want it public. It's going to be a public vote. You killed yourself by not making your video public. They're not going to choose someone that's kept it private. They damn well did. They cho Here's a comment on my video from this person, Thomas, Thomas PC2, and his comment says, I do not think it was a good idea to make it private and just send them only the link, just so you could see if Le Vagabond had watched it. Feedback from other YouTube watchers like myself, who not in the contest, can still give positive feedback to those who are. I do not think the Vagabond crew would hire someone that others did not like. You outsmarted yourself. That's not what YouTube and the web is all about. So that English might not be this man's first language, but that's all right. The point that he's making is that I ruined my, my opportunities by not setting my application to public. And I think it's brilliant that the person who got the gig had a private linked video. I think that is just, and all of you selling the Vagabond fans who sledged me in my comments and made all that unnecessary hate, you have to be eating humble pie right now. And I really, it must taste nice. It must taste nice. It's been, that whole experience for me uh, was up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, they look like they've chosen a rad dude. His, his stuff's been great so far, but I think it sticks it to the fans of the channel who really stuck it to me because they didn't even choose someone who had a public video. I love it. I, f I, feel, I feel validated in this now. And yeah, if, if anyone has anything further to add to this, um, t t great, 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 great. By the way, my application video has had two views now. So the one that I watched and then they did watch